On today's episode, we're going to talk about following the Holy Spirit. So stay tuned and do not switch over to anything else right now. But go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell for me if you would like more messages like this. You see, I've been ministering for over 20, for 20 years, uh, walking with the Holy Spirit, and I want to share some insight and some experiences, and also want to ground you in the Word of God concerning following the Holy Spirit. It's an adventure, it's an exciting life, it's a life leaning and trusting in the Holy Spirit who knows beyond your imagination, beyond your intellect. He knows the ways, He has the keys, He knows how to reach. And uh, today, I want you to know that many years from now, many years ago, uh, I was on a prayer walk and God spoke to me and He said, follow my heart, follow my spirit. I was communicating with the Father, I was in dialogue with the Father and the Father spoke back to me and said, follow my heart, follow my spirit. And that word kept going, came back to me again and again and again during that prayer walk. And I tried to figure out what, what was the significant, what was significant with those words. And then all of a sudden I understand, I understood. To follow the Spirit is to follow the Father's heart. He said, follow my heart, follow my Spirit. You see, this is very uh, scriptural, and I'm going to read a portion of scripture out of 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Listen to this. And in verse 10, But God has revealed them to us through His Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of man except the Spirit of a man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. You see, the Spirit of God is searching out our hearts, but the Spirit of God is also searching out the Father's heart. The Spirit of God comes out of the, fa of, of the heart of the Father, and He's looking and He's connected with the heart of the Father. And when we are led by the Spirit, we are led by the heart of our Heavenly Father. You see, the, when, when Jesus went to the man by the pool of Bethesda, he was led by the Spirit. And the Father's heart was towards an individual, and God, Jesus, was sent to an individual. He was following the heart of the Father. When Jesus went about doing good, healing all that were sick, he was following the heart of the Father. And I want you to know that that being Spirit-led, following the Holy Spirit, is, has nothing to do with just doing things because God told you to do it. It has nothing to do by, by sometimes we emphasize the, the importance of being obedient, but you can receive the heart of the Father through the Spirit and understand that, my God, Father has Father must love this person so, so much, and that's why I'm interrupted right now to go and speak to this individual or minister to this individual. And you can rest assured and trust that the Spirit of God would administer the grace which is needed to the certain situation. I want you to know that being led by the Holy Spirit it's a beautiful thing. You will get to know and you will, you will start to understand the love of God to you and through uh, to others. You will understand that He is so much in love with humanity and that He longs to reconcile, heal, restore, set free. So today, would you 
Would you yield to him? Would you say, lead me, that I may know what's on the Father's heart for today? God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Hit and subscribe to our channel, Love Revival TV, in order to get more inspirational messages and join me on this journey of exploring the life with the Spirit of God. God bless you in Jesus' name.